All right, we're learning more today about the new personal finance statements coming out of the White House. They reportedly show just how rich President Barack Obama's inner circle really is. This is really juicy. Samantha Hayes joins us live from Washington with more OK Samantha dish, I guess. Well, Nicole, just so happens that President Obama's top level advisors, like many of those previous presidents, are all millionaires. President Barack Obama probably doesn't need to balance his own checkbook anymore. As the story goes, two best selling memoirs elevated the family to a new tax bracket. We just paid off our student loans just several years ago, and that was only because Barack wrote two best selling books. <laughs> The president's yeah, closest advisors, all from Chicago, compassion. share similar exactly. stories. Recently released personal financial statements for 2008 show the inner circle of the West Wing is wealthy. Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel made millions in investment banking after working in the Clinton White House and before getting elected to Congress. His portfolio lists assets valued between 4 and 11 million. Political consulting paid off for David Axelrod, who sold his stake in his two political consulting firms for $3 million. Valerie Jarrett, a senior advisor to the president, is also a millionaire. In 2008, she also earned hundreds of thousands in board director's fees. All three have the president's ear when it comes to the most pressing issues facing America, especially the recession. I would be disappointed if he didn't have some people who really understood the impact of this current tsunami on all of the things that are happening uh, around the country and around the world in a, in a personal way. Bob Edgar, a former member of Congress who now works to reduce the influence of money in politics, says personal wealth personal way, can be a good thing. But, uh, it doesn't hurt to have someone who has a few dollars in the bank. In fact, uh, maybe there'll be less corruption if uh, someone knows that they have the financial resources to be public servants. And those disclosure forms are available by request. They are also a requirement for top level aides and their deputies every year. Nicole? I'm curious, uh, has the White House responded to Edgar? Uh, they have not responded to him specifically, uh, but they were very quick to uh, provide me with that data this morning. Uh, I called them and talked to the White House uh, uh, press office and uh, had the emails with all the information uh, just a few minutes later. Wow. Wh why do you think that is? Are is it part of their push to be more transparent? I mean, that's really yeah. personal info. Nicole, you make a really good point. Um, you know, the Obama administration has talked a lot about that. I have, you know, all the disclosure forms here in my hands. Uh, President Barack Obama talked a lot about uh, trying to limit the influence or, or cut out the influence of lobbyists in his administration. And so we also, uh, you know, feel that perhaps that's one reason why they got these uh, forms to us so quickly. But it is a requirement, and you can go back, uh, you know, year after year after year and see what the uh, top-level aides of other presidents made. And it's not uncommon. <clears throat> Excuse me. That many of these folks, uh, you know, had lucrative careers in the private sector and gave it up uh, in order to serve in a public position. Wow, really interesting stuff. Samantha Hayes, live in Washington. Sam, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.